If you fish bass in the Great Lakes, any of its tributaries, satellite lakes, you've probably seen a lot of this. Fish with a lot of odd markings or open sores. There are several common diseases, not just in bass, but other fish as well. Most of them are harmless, not many of them are fatal. They can flare up in different regions, some are exacerbated by water conditions. And again, many of them can be found in multiple species, particularly with poor water quality. The hyperpigmentation can be just stress-related, or it can be a parasite or bacterial infection. You'll often see this during the spawn. Or it can be caused from a genetic condition called melanosis. Not dissimilar to what humans can get. During the spawn, it's typically just stress-related. For years, biologists assumed that it was random and non-communicable. But more recently, biologist Vicki Blazer with the USGS discovered a virus related to the hyperpigmentation. And it is a communicable disease. This is often also referred to as blotchy bass syndrome. Black spot disease gets used in a very general term for multiple conditions. There is actually a flatworm or black spot parasite. And in the larvae stage, it actually creates cysts in this fish's skin. Often the original host for these parasites is aquatic snails. They will infect the snails, lay eggs, and then the snail will expel them. From there, they'll infect any species that they can latch on to. They can be consumed by bait fish, and in turn, those bait fish will be consumed by bigger fish. You'll often see it in perch that are resident to weedy areas. You'll see it when cleaning perch and the black dots are in the muscle tissue close to the skin. Another common disease is bass ulcer or bass red spot disease. Once again, bass ulcer disease is a very generic term covering a lot of different diseases. In the Great Lakes, it's often mistaken for lamprey marks. Lamprey will attach to bass, but more common is with lake trout and salmon. The most common parasite that causes these sores actually comes from fish-eating birds, their feces. Again, there's no one cause of ulcers in fish. It could come from a myriad of viruses and parasites. Most of these diseases are not fatal, and for many of them, the fish will recover over time. What you can do to help if you see a lot of this in your region is take a quick picture. Don't overhandle the fish. Keep your live well clean. And when you do catch a fish with open sores, after you take a quick picture, please release it as soon as possible. You might want to report it to local fisheries management just in case it's a new virus or strain on the lake. Probably the most damaging and invasive disease to hit the Great Lakes is VHS. Vile hemorrhagic septicemia was first discovered in 2003, both in Lake St. Clair and Bay of Quinte. There was large fish kills for muscalunge in Lake St. Clair and sheephead in Bay of Quinte. This virus is extremely contagious and can be devastating on initial outbreaks. There is research that shows that fish that survive the infection do have some level of immunity, as do their next generations. If you harvest or purchase bait locally, it is extremely important to never take bait from a VHS zone outside of that zone. The results can be devastating for an unaffected fishery. These are the typical signs of VHS. If you do catch a fish with these signs, please take a picture of it and report it to your local fisheries management. Thanks for watching.